Shalom. Today we're going to have another lesson about Hebrew verb structure. We're going to call this the case of the missing hay. And I covered this in a previous video very briefly with one slide. Today we're going to go into depth on it. So this is a very specific case, a vav conversive imperfect lamed hay verb. So you remember that the lamed hay verbs are verbs whose last letter is hay. And they have some differences in the past tense, where the hay would turn into a yud. And they also have some very specific differences when they're in the vav conversive, imperfect. The whole concept of the vav conversive is a little odd. What happens is, when you have a vav in front of either a perfect or imperfect, a past tense or a future tense verb, when you read it, you read the opposite tense. And so some people call it the reversing vav. In Hebrew, it's called vav hahipuch, from the root hafach, which means to turn upside down. Normally in a conjugation, in the imperfect tense, we would see this paradigm. We have a prefix of one letter. Some of the different forms have a suffix. And we're going to start with a verb, and you will commonly recognize what is happening when we see the examples. We're just going to do some examples today to show how this works. So ordinarily, this verb, ra'a, resh, aleph, he, means to see. And if we were to conjugate it in the imperfect, I will see, you will see, you will see feminine, he will see, this is what it would look like. So of these 10 forms, five of them still end in he after the conjugation. From Leviticus 13, 31, we're going to see a normal form. Vechi yireh ha-kohen. And when, the kohen will see. He will see. It looks perfectly normal. It's got the yud prefix, and the rest of the letters for the verb is, are there. When we come to the vav conversive imperfect, you are familiar with this. It's all the way from Genesis 1, 4. So it doesn't say year e it says V'yar Elohim, and Elohim saw. And we see that the hay falls off. It's not there. We don't read it and he will see, we read it as he saw. In all of these examples, what we are going to see is that the hay will fall off in the Vav conversive form. Here's an example of the first person, I will see. Hagar is out in the wilderness with Ishmael, and she's afraid he's going to die. She sits herself down a distance, starting in the second line, Amra, she said, Al er e bemot hayeled. I will not see, I do not want to see the death of the boy. So she's looking to some event for the future. In Ezekiel 127, we have a vav conversive. So here's the vav at the front. We have the aleph for the I will, and the resh and the aleph for the verb, the hay falls off. The ere ka'ain chashmal. And I saw, perhaps not the easiest to translate, like an, like an eye and a glowing. Perhaps some kind of color or, or gem and kind of it's glowing. Not the easiest to translate. But we're not looking at that. We're looking at the verb. And I saw. By the way, chashmal is the modern word for electricity. In the second person masculine, we have this prefix tav. Vayomer Yehovah el Moshe ata tir e asher e ese. Yehovah spoke to Moses. Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh. It's a normal future tense. In Nehemiah 9.9, the Tere et Oni Avotenu. And you saw the Vav is there, the hay is fall off, and we're translating it as the past tense. And you saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt. Also, please remember, for some peculiar reason, that the masculine second person singular you takes the same form as the feminine third person, she. The verb asa, to make or do, in the first person, Genesis 2.18, Vayomer Yehovah Elohim, lo tov heyota adam levado, 
I will make him a helpmate who is opposite him. Not opposed to him, just opposite him. It's a normal future tense for the first person. Genesis 26, 8. And I made a cabinet of shittim wood, of acacia wood. So again, here's the vav and the he falls off. And we're translating it in the past tense. Here's one for the first person plural, we, from Genesis 1.28. Vayomer Elohim naase adam betzalmenu kidzmutenu. And Elohim said, we will make a man in our form and in our image. Who is the we? Elohim is plural. He can be a we. In the reversing vav tense, Jeremiah 35, 10. If you remember the story of the descendants of Yonadav, he had commanded his descendants, his sons, to live a certain way. And they said, V'neshev ba'ohalim v'nishma v'na'as k'chol asher tzivanu yonadav avinu. And we dwelt in tents, and we listened, we obeyed, and we did like all which commanded us our father Yonadav. Again, the hay falls off. This is a, the verse from Genesis is in the second person masculine singular. Avimelech is talking to Avraham, and he wants a promise that they will deal kindly with their posterity. So you see where it says, ta'ase, is highlighted in gold, ta'ase imadi, do with me. It's a normal future tense. In Genesis 27, 14, this is actually the female third person, she, but remember, that is the same form as the second person masculine, singular you. I don't know why those are the same. And it says, <speaking in Hebrew> Jacob is bringing the food for his mother to prepare. And imo, his mother, vataas, and she made. It's red as the past tense, vav in the front, no hey. We're going to do one more, which is haya, which is the verb to be, and it's sort of a little funny verb anyway. So we'll look at these forms in the Vav conversive. This verse you know, Exodus 3.14, God is revealing his name to Moses, and he calls himself Ehye Asher Ehye. This is his name. I will be. In Psalm 34.15, we see the reversing vav. Ve'ehi ke'ish asher lo shomea. And I was like a man who could not hear. The normal form for he will be or it will be. In Genesis 1.29, God gives the definition of what the people can eat. And at the end, it says, Yihye la'achla. It will be as food. In Genesis 1, 5, and uh, many, many, many other places, we see the form vayahi. So this is the reversing vav, the third person. We're going to read it as the past tense. And it was Erev, and it was Boker. It was evening, and it was morning. Vayahi happens so many times through the Tanakh. This is a feminine, singular, she will be. And so the normal form we see in Ezekiel 20.32, starting in the second line, Tihiyeh Torah Yehovah. Torah is feminine. It takes the feminine verb. She will be the Torah of Yehovah. In the reversing Vav form, we see in Genesis 10.10, Vatehi Reshit Mamlachto. And it was the beginning of his kingdom. Reshit is feminine. It's going to take the feminine verb. And here is a first person plural we form from Ezekiel 20:32. God is reproving the people for having defiled themselves by saying they would be like the nations and the families of the land. They're giving up on God. Starting at the end of the first line, Atem Omrim, y'all say Nihye Kagoyim, we will be like the peoples. And they're projecting something to the future. In Numbers 13, 33, 
the people are giving a report, the spies are giving a bad report, and they're saying, and we were like grasshoppers. And they say, inu et nefilim. And we saw the Nephilim there, Bnei Anak, the sons of giants, Minha Nephilim, they came from the Nephilim, Vanehi Veenenu Kachagavim. And we were, we read it as the past tense, Yes Vav, No He, Vanehi Veenenu Kachagavim. We were like grasshoppers. I hope this has been helpful to you in your verb journey. You can drop me a line in the comments section. Shalom.